All right, Nate, you ready to go fishing? Yeah. All right, let's do this. Hello and welcome to another episode of Catfish and Carb. Today, me and my boy Nate here, we are going to be fishing small ponds, okay? We're gonna start with this one here and just see what happens. If it's good, we may stick around. If not, we're gonna try some others. In the winter, it can be a little hard to catch fish from shore. So the best places to go are often small ponds because the fish, they're somewhere in there and you can reach almost every part of the, the pond from shore. So it's a great place to learn how to locate fish in the winter time. And uh, we're here at a pond that's got quite a bit of people fishing it. So we're gonna see what happens. Well guys, I have never been to this pond before. I've never fished it. I've never talked to anybody who's fished it. I'm coming in here completely blind. I know there's fish here because I can see four people fishing and, and there wouldn't be four people fishing in 30 degree weather if there weren't any fish here. So that's a good sign. My guess is they're all trout fishermen. All right, well, I'm a weird dude. And so even if there's trout in here, I kind of want to catch a catfish. So I've got um, some number four hooks, which are good for small channels or bullheads, but a little bit big for trout. You got one? Yeah. Excellent, excellent. This one's long. Oh, excellent. That is a nice long one. I don't want a lot of dangly bits. It's got a nice little glob of worms like that. So right now it's pretty cold. It's like 32 degrees right now. And uh, so I'm gonna try the deeper spots. We're gonna sit here for only about maybe 10, 15 minutes. And if we don't get a fish, we're gonna cast somewhere else. And I'm gonna systematically work my way around this pond. Look how clear this water is. It is just crystal clear. The water here is pretty crystal clear. That might make the, the fish a little hook shy. They, they'll be able to see our rigs a lot better. Do you see more, you see duck poop? It's duck. It's dog poop? Yeah, duck. You sure it's not goose poop? It's poop. Nothing, absolutely nothing's pecked up my, my worm. So go try a different spot. Clear, I'm just gonna walk around and see if I can see uh, any uh, fish swimming around. Looks like we've got a bit of depth here. So we're gonna check the rods out real quick. I just got my rod sitting here on the edge like this. I talked to some of the fishermen over there and they said they've never seen any catfish here, but there are carp and uh, some bass and bluegill and they just stocked it with trout a couple weeks ago. So who knows? Might even get a carp. That would be, uh, that would make my day. Hey Nathan, do you see a crayfish? Yeah. Nathan, go. There's some pretty good sized crawfish down there. If I can find enough of them, I might uh, ditch the fishing and we just go catch crawfish. Those things taste good. Oh, nothing messing with my bait. Oh, look at that bass is coming back. Other than a couple tiny trout and some bass and some crawfish. It's been pretty dead here, but we'll see. Well, we tried three different spots and I'm watching five other fishermen here having about as much luck as I am. So I think we're gonna try a different spot, a different pond altogether. Yeah, I'm seeing lots of, lots of minnows, tons of minnows, both a good sign and a bad sign. It's a good sign that there's life and fish in here. It's a bad sign because if there was anything big, those minnows wouldn't be out in the open. Well, me and Nate are going to try another pond here and see if we can't find some fish. There we go. There we go, another little bullhead. All right, well, we've been here about 20 minutes and we've caught four bullheads, so not too bad. Well guys, I'm gonna start doing the slow pack up. I've got a busy day tomorrow and I've got a few things to do tonight. <laughs> you are building, good for you, bud. 
Well, today was just kind of a get out and explore sort of day. Uh, spent a lot of time driving, probably about two, three hours actually fishing. We were only in this spot for maybe 30, 40 minutes and landed half a dozen bullheads. But anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great day. And don't forget to click subscribe. We put out new videos every Saturday morning. Thanks for watching.